I am the lawyer, I can do what I want. Tippity tappity typey typey tip. Lawyer stuff. We got anything else going on here? Mm. Boop the puppy schnoz and in you go. Oh wow, it's a peep hole here. Peeping 47. They're in the same room as all those bodies. Now they're gone. Okay, so they didn't notice the mess that I'd made, which is good. Why am I trespassing? It's okay, I'll be quick. I'm a lawyer. I'm allowed to do this sort of stuff. Nice and quick, though. People come this way. I'm. I have a newspaper. Was oh, he dead? Oh yeah. Whoever you are, you are now gone. Let's just uh, drag you somewhere, shall we? There's a cupboard over there. There's a secret book again. We're finding pathways. Oh, fuck me, I thought that was someone else, and it's me! So is she actually? No, she's not actually. Uh, pull the book. Aha, where do I go this time? A new peephole? Don't be sick and disgusting again. I can really get lay of the land using these secret passages. Oh. The intel I'm getting. Bank tokens, I need one more. The lawyer's files, keys, and I've got a, okay. I know I clicked through that rather quick, but I've got a lot of options now. There's no one in here, is there? No. Oh, it's the chandelabra. Okay, she keeps going upstairs, so maybe let's interact with her as the lawyer. Look at these wonderful family portraits. God, they need some better lighting on this staircase. Sorry, sir. Due to heightened security, I can't let you through here. Now move along, please. Well. Okay. Where is she? Oh, she's she's coming down. Oh. Wait and pretend to be lawyer, man. I'll sit on my phone eye and pretend that I'm doing important meeting stuff whilst bodyguard and lawyer sleep cosily. Oh, mom. That is Alexa Carlyle, unofficial leader of the Provenance Partners. I've received more information about your situation. Mr. Yes. Lord, we can't talk here. Go back to your office. I will be there shortly. Okay. Come on then. What's the verdict, Mr. Ford? Undoubtedly some of my assets must be set. No. Everything is gone. Ow! Oops. That too. That's not possible. I want to try something here. So I'll overwrite this save. It's simple. Don't you throw that thing That's Madame Carlyle taking Ooh. care of. Time to get the file on Ooh. the Daddy! No one noticed a thing. Ah, uh, let's pick up our trusty newspaper. Can I fit you in here? That's full. I'll put them in the secret passageway. <laughs> That seems to be the best. Yeah, someone will find them in a couple of weeks when it starts to smell. That's rather dark, actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> in you go. Lovely jubbly. Have a nice snooze, Mum. I 
I'm just going to go do lawyer stuff. I'm a lawyer. We'll keep this out from... Oh, actually, no. Trusty newspaper. The guy even said before I hit him. Don't you throw that at me. I refuse to listen to simple bodyguards. I will throw newspapers at whoever I damn well wish. Nice. What I could do with being a bodyguard again, couldn't I? It's going to be my little action room. Ah, yes, uh, Mom is just taking a fat shit. That's why uh, the lawyer's still in there with her. They're debating whether or not it's a legal shit. Squeak past. Okay. I've never seen a dead body before. Here, messages. Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. Yes. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it. She has that detective to come. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead, and that he has to write the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. I still have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. Wow, bit harsh. Impressive animal, however, should not be killed and put on a pedestal like that. Let them live. You know, peacocks are fucking amazing. This is the main balcony, isn't it? Look at it. Lean forward. Oh, wow. Might have been able to do a kill from here. Oh, now this. This is a bathroom. Magnificent, if I do say so. Oh, there's a letter here. Pick up the letter. Beauty intel. Non sent letter from Alex Carlyle to her daughter Rebecca. The letter describes how two tokens carried by Rebecca and Mr. Fernsby, the butler, are to be combined in the event of Alexa Carlyle's death. Together, the tokens grant access to the deposit box in the London branch of the Milton Fitzpatrick Bank. Apparently, this deposit box contains a copy of the case file on Arthur Edwards. Now, the way that you're doing this laundry is absolutely deplorable. I'm sorry, it just won't do. Oh god, nice and quick. Drag, drag, drag. Quick, 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 quick. Nice little body room. Here we go. You just stay here for now. And we'll close that door up. Yes, your bodyguard has gone for a piss. He needed a piss break. Alex Carlyle's office. Isn't this magnificent? Making progress. We could maybe shoot that chandelier down. Oh, it appears we have found the file we have been searching for. Oh my god. Hmm. Gotta dig this place. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait. Oh, a secret mechanism for uncovering it. It's got real soul. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. According to the bodyguards, office contains a safe hidden behind a painting, allegedly. Okay. Safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Okay, Madame Carlyle's office. Is there a map? Oh, shit me, of course. It's not that easy. What? Level 2. Alexa Carlyle's office. Okay, so I am here. And there should be a painting with a safe. This is why I should have been a detective man, because I am a detective man. Yes. Hello, chum. Good, man. Cheers. Good. 
Oh, thank you. I've been, I've been working out a little. Thank you for noticing. Oh, a bit of chess. Nice. Do you know what? That's really improved my day. That really has. Imperial Flurgy Egg? My god, I never thought I'd see such a thing. A Flurgy Egg. Well now, isn't this something? I wonder what's behind door number one. Lovely. Nice hidey hole. A unicorn horn. Lovely. I'm back out in the hallway. No, let me back in. There's peepers. I can peep in the peepers. I can do the peepers. Hello. I'm the peepy man. Okay. I will no longer do the peepings. God, this is just... Rich people, huh? I was not in the place that I'm not allowed to be. What painting could it be behind? Oh, come on. I want to activate that button now. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh -huh. uh, there you go. <laughs> this is honestly my favourite weapon. By far. Who knew a newspaper would be so damn effective? Just make sure no one's seen us. Open up the door, in we go. You chill here. I'll see you in a bit, my friend. Just have a nice snooze, and uh, don't get scared when you wake up. He'll almost definitely get scared when he wakes up, won't he? Unconscious witness. Uh, do I need to whap him out then? I guess so. It is bugging me, so I feel like that's going to be an issue. So we'll just simply do 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 and snap that neck. Nighty night, my friend. I'm probably not doing it very Hitman like, but alas, this is the way I'm doing it. Peculiar icons above the safe. Okay. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, let me leave. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I am a blind man. A telescope, a fire, a moose, and... Something. Jesus, what is that something? Aha, seven. Seven for fire. I need a pen. I need a pen. I'm going to steal a valuable egg. This one. Aha, aha, see one. So the clock is one. Probably looking at entirely the wrong place. Alas, I will probably keep trying nine for the telescope. I can't remember if that was first or last. The moose is a five. Okay, got it. Got there in the end. I might have written them down in the wrong order. Oh, do you know what? I only went and bloody got it right. So yeah, it's one. Nine, seven, five. What? One. Ah, there we go. One, nine, 
seven, five. Lovely jubbly. Off we go. Now, what would be the most interesting way to escape? Okay. I wonder what happened to our friend. 